ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ ಸರಾಮ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಯೂಜಲಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚ್ ಸಾಯಂ and let us and discuss a couple of uh, very important actual uh, question regarding his life and mission and uh, of course uh, my uh, video satsang based on my uh, three books at the moment i have three books published in um, in english uh, with all my memories about such a sign so let me remind you that back in 90s i was a uh, uh, interpreter translator for such a sign for our swami for russian speaking groups and all three books are available as free domain free download as ebooks well in some of my books i discuss um different stories uh you know miracles spiritual instructions and sometimes um philosophical questions uh of course connected with our beloved swami and in this video let us speak about um okay let me call it kind of painful question uh, which is why which is why uh, our swami sometimes could give you know his healing power healing blessing just give healing to somebody and um, yeah seems not to heal somebody else well when we uh, speak about avatar of the divine incarnation um, of course we mean that um, the divine incarnation means love compassion you know, like for everyone but at the same time this is the fact that some visitors or some devotees could come to uh, satisfy and really experience his transformational blessings healings etc okay let us even mention mostly healing i mean problems with um, uh, physical health like some people a person individual with a um, health problem spouse okay, came to such a serious it is blessing and later on became healthy but some people actually not <coughs> i mean we we know uh, obviously you know um, many cases when people with uh, serious health problems um, could approach swami but seemingly no result and the question is why and um, Uh, I remember one story uh, when um, uh, actually this story later on became even famous um, when a certain family came with the two children and, and this family uh, wanted to discuss certain questions with the Swami and um, even before actually meet this family um, Satya Sai already told to the, to other people that okay in this family actually there are two children and both of them are blind and um uh that was great surprise for the okay people because uh, well one more example of um, swami's perfect clear words and uh, <coughs> later on uh swami explained uh, to the people that there is a deep karmic meaning in this difficult situation uh and then he okay told the story of past life and he told that you know these children in their past life they misbehaved in this and such a such a way and the mother of the family she did this and that also bad things and this is why in this present life they came together as a family okay and children were blind and um, of course that was great problem uh, pain for the parents of course 
and uh, so I have, <coughs> yeah, I remember a number of uh, other stories when somebody, uh, you know, could experience, really experienced the blessing power of such a sign regarding healing, I mean, yeah, and uh, somebody else came to Swami with a problem, suffering, and it was like, uh, the outside image was like, you know, like Swami was indifferent, seemingly indifferent to the, to the other person with uh, greater problems. But <clears throat> sometimes, uh, such a time, our beloved Swami explained to the people why he was um, easily healed this person and um, didn't pay attention to the problems of somebody else because of the deep you know karmic reasons okay uh, we live our life and uh, most of us we are able to understand situations whatever connections well whatever <coughs> happened with us just based on situations okay let us say in this present life suppose if you have problems and you just observe your life and you ask yourself and you know in your mind you can even ask God well I did nothing wrong why I'm experiencing uh, such um, problems or sufferings it can be regarding family life health you know <clears throat> whatever social problems I'm a good guy I'm a good person, I did nothing wrong, you know, but why <clears throat> I have these problems? But, of course, for most of us, it's very difficult to know past incarnations, our own past lives, and um, who knows what we um, uh, done in our past lives. So, we, we don't know about this, but for Swami, for Satya Sai, it was like, you know, open book it was absolutely clear and that's the reason why um, so okay of course we can suppose that he could uh, lighten uh, somebody's karma but anyway some part of karma we have to work out ourselves so that's the reason why uh, we can't actually say that you know everyone in uh, each and every visitor of the put party ashram uh, you know, uh, can experience healing power. No, because some deeper meaning and reason for all our sufferings and conditions of life. And of course, I think <coughs> we have to be careful uh, when we uh, try to know our past life. Suppose, okay, now many people who are you know, practicing meditation, different esoteric traditions. Yeah, people try to know, okay, that's so interesting and it can be even important uh, whom I was like my past, in my, in my past um, uh, incarnation. But we have to be very careful about this because, um, you know, what, what's often, quite often um, uh, happen, our ego may whisper different crazy ideas. Well, um, at the moment I'm in put party actually, yeah, and I met here so many people with uh, different kinds of, you know, crazy ideas, about, crazy fantasies about their own past lives. Um, and because of ego, uh, if, uh, you know, we try to meditate and understand our past lives, sometimes we can create these fantasies. Like, you know, I was blah blah blah, you know, like Alexander the Great, I was a uh, pharaoh of the ancient Egypt, I was prophet of um, this uh, or that religion, you know, and a small ego always creating or quite often creating these fantasies. So that's the reason why we have to be very careful while trying to understand our past lives because, you know, um, of course ego wish to be great um, that's good if you meditate um, and um, you know uh, 
and you can experience uh, some pieces of information about your past lives for example which kind of meditation which kind of spiritual tradition you was practicing uh, you know your past lives uh, suppose if you remember somewhere better in your heart uh, that you as a practitioner, spiritual practitioner with uh, uh, such and such uh, experiences that's okay, that maybe can be helpful uh, for your spiritual life this lifetime Yeah, but if you wish to know details like whom exactly as personality I was in my past life then okay, better to be careful about it well um, and uh, of course um, one more thing I, I, I wish to repeat actually about uh, just my, my personal opinion nothing more uh, why sometimes Satyasai really helped somebody I mean regarding healing transformation and why sometimes it didn't happen with, with somebody else and uh, the reason is, according to my observation, is uh, the necessity of personal spiritual effort. Quite often, uh, so many times, I, I saw it myself, I'm sure you too, when Sai devotees uh, may say, well, we trust to our beloved Swami, Sri Satyasai, because he is God. We trust, we believe. And if we have problems, okay, whatever problems, spiritual problems, social, maybe problems regarding, um, okay, uh, life purpose, creative, creative projects, or maybe financial, family, or health problems, okay, we have these problems. We believe that our Swami is God. We pray to Him, and then, and then, very big mistake, if at the same time, you remain lazy I, I don't believe that in such a case Lord God may help you and I saw myself you know many times when people pray to Swami uh, but uh, no healing why because people themselves are lazy sometimes so it means according let me repeat again and again just my opinion just my observation but those people who came to Swami, pray for the help, and then uh, do something for for the release. Do something, you know, some spiritual effort or maybe social effort. Then only God helps. So God helps only if you are working enough, you know, if you are proactive enough to fulfill your okay uh, positive intention. You know, it's, it's never um, happened with the lazy people. That's also one more reason, which is, okay, let me repeat the third time, it's just my observation, but um, I wish to share with this observation as well. So, it means, be careful, guys, when you try to know your past life. Be clear what is useful to know about your own past lives and what is useless. Whatever uh, connected with the let us say personality of you know your past life personalities that's wrong to know because then your ego will whisper that you was great um, but better to know some spiritual experiences from your past life that's that's useful for your meditation here and now and also please remember if you pray to Swami or oh, please help me because of this or that situation do not forget your own spiritual effort and just sometimes even social effort which is also also ne necessary and then your effort and divine blessings when they come together then for sure success will be with you well let me complete this video for today again invite you to um, uh, download because this is a okay, printed book but actually it's a down, uh, uh, download for free so as ebooks uh, and all the links uh, next uh, to the to this video so it means you can download read and i'm sure benefit because that's my personal memories um, about yeah all that interviews huge number of interviews personal communication with them 
uh, our beloved Swami, his miracles, his spiritual distractions, different, different situation, his great sense of humor as well. Okay, say so, um, God bless all of you. See you next time. सवितुर्हरिण्यम भरगो देवस्य नीमहि दियो यो नक प्रचोदयान्धम